Welcome back to Love Muffa Classic. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put new videos every week, so it's always something fun to watch on the channel. Like this, 1992 Daimler Double Six, which is a customer's car. And I'm having a look at a few more things before I order some parts. Customers complained of a little bit of an odd, weird sound coming from the engine at certain RPMs. So I thought I'd show you guys how to use a normal uh, engine stethoscope and listen for some odd sounds and hopefully we find out what the issue is and hopefully it's nothing expensive to fix. Diagnosing odd sounds can be quite difficult. So especially on a large engine like a Jaguar V12, finding where the weird sound is coming from can be quite a um, difficult task. The owner complained of a odd sound at about 1500 RPMs. It's not a metallic sound or anything. It's more of a whooshing sort of odd little sound. And when I was driving it, I heard it sometimes and it sounded like it was coming from the back of the engine down where the oil filter is, so the oil filter housing. So my educated guess is that it's something down in there. And I've experienced that in the past with a V12 with the wrong oil viscosity and a weird aftermarket filter. And the combination just made a weird sound. I do not know the viscosity of oil in this engine, nor what oil filters use, but when I look down, I can see it's not an original one, at least because they are white and it's, it looks like it's dark or black. So we're gonna change the oil anyway later on when we do other things to this car, because I'm doing the injectors. And while we're doing that, I saw a slight, slight leak, tiny leak on the back of the valve cover. And I talked to the owner and said, while we have so much apart and we're doing spark plugs, we might as well do the cam cover gaskets. So we'll take the intakes off and do all of that. So there's no point in changing the oil now. However, I still wanna show you guys just some tricks of what to listen to. All you need is really a normal automotive stethoscope. If you don't have one, a long screwdriver can work as well. Uh, however, you gotta be you know, aware of putting your head close to the fan and things like that. But this works really well. So all you do is, you know, you put it in your ears, it's like a doctor. And you can listen to anything, so you know, go to the timing chain up here. You can listen to the power steering pump down there. You can listen to the AC compressor, just everything. So what I thought I'd do, I started up now, and I'm gonna listen around, see if I find anything. And then I'm gonna try to put a little mic in between here and see if you guys can hear it too. Any bit down there. I'm not sure how the camera is picking it up. It's always really difficult to pick up all the sounds. But I'm going to listen around a little bit and raise the, uh, the engine speed just to see what I hear. I'm going to start with the power steering pump. gushing sound going through the oil filter. That is definitely, definitely it. Uh, but once again, you can listen to other things. So you go to the water pump over on the other side. You can go and do that as well, just for demonstration purposes. And all of that sounded really good. So. It is something to do down with the oil filter. I know it sounds really, really weird, but I've had another car that's done this, and it's absolutely odd, but when you put on the original filter and the correct oil, that goes away. I don't know why it happens, but 
I just, you know, it's a very odd thing. I'm gonna grab a little mic and see if you guys can hear what I'm hearing. So let's see if this is gonna work. I hope you guys could hear a little bit at least it wasn't you know as clear as I wanted to I don't have an electronic one or a digital one so I could record it but maybe it's something I'll have in the future and we can listen to engine sounds more clearly but I think you heard a little bit and you sort of understand the troubleshooting of it it's really quite simple and like I said it can be done with a long screwdriver just push against your ear as well if you don't have anything else but these set scopes are so cheap so if you uh, do any kind of work yourself on any engine just pick one up it's a great thing to have and I did contact the owner about what the issue was and he's very happy that it's not an expensive issue and that we're just going to solve it with a normal service later when we do a bunch of other things. But like I mentioned, doing the injectors and all that and then while I'm doing that, we're doing the spark plugs and then we decided to do the uh, cam covers as well because there's a little bit of weeping down there. And while you have basically almost everything off that you need to get to, it's just intake left, we might as well do it. One other sound that I have heard is that the fuel pump is quite noisy and they're not the most quiet fuel pumps on this car, but I thought I have taken off some things here in the back so that we can get to the fuel pump to get that piece off. I need to remove the spare wheel, but I can see the pump down there with a little bit of flashlight. So I'm gonna let you guys hear it. So this thing has an immobilizer, but you listen carefully. If you heard that, it is relatively pretty noisy. But let's fire this thing up and go back and listen to the pump. I am grab the light so we can hopefully see. And as we can hear, that is pretty noisy. around the other side so we can see it. Pump is over there. And that isn't that noisy, but there is a weird noise over here. Okay, it's coming from this thing which basically gets rid of any air in the fuel system before it goes up to the engine. There's an odd vibration there. But I think it's actually coming from the pump and then traveling up here. So the rubber mount and everything does look fine and normal down there. So um, I think I'm just going to recommend to the owner that when we have a look at doing all the injectors and all the fuel lines up there, we'll have a look at the fuel lines down here. And if we end up replacing some of the lines, we'll see what they look like then we'll probably, you know, replace the pump as well. It's a lot cheaper to replace a fuel pump than to actually get the car towed home in case it fails or, you know, anything else. But, uh, there's a weird sound here. All right, I'll have to investigate that further in probably another video when I have all this out. But now at least we know what the weird sound is up here. We know that the engine is pretty much healthy from the previous video. Now I'm ready to uh, order some of the last parts and then there'll be a couple of videos uh, in, the, in the future where, like I said, we'll do all those injector hoses like I've done before. We will have a look at the ignition system as well and possibly do the cap and rotor depending on what it looks like. We're going to do the spark plugs and we will do the uh, cam cover gaskets and then uh, some other hoses and things and this thing should be ready for the summer. And that's it for this video. Some great news for the owner that there's nothing majorly wrong with his car, which I sort of thought all the time is sound like a very solid car, but just in need of some regular maintenance. It's an absolutely gorgeous car, and I think he's going to be very happy with it once all the service work is sorted and we replaced all those perishable items. He's going to be very happy to uh, be driving this car this summer. 
So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Anyways, until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Illumina Classic. I'll see you soon.